Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a continuation of the autumn series and it, this one is Fig. Um, this one I really wanted to go out there with the purple. Um, I know Fig has a bit of green in it, a bit of orange in it, it has like all different colours. But I really wanted to hone it in on the pink, sorry, the purple because that's just such a nice shade this time of year. So I really wanted to go out on it. I've gone in with the lips, the lips are more of a pinky nudie type colour but my eyes are definitely like that ready purpley color which i love um i love how this worked out this is a really nice um autumnal look i think it's really trendy i would say i don't know but it's really nice especially if you're going out it would really look nice if you've got false eyelashes on especially quite thick ones because of the shadow but i didn't put on any today because i don't have any like thick ones so yeah if you like how this look like i achieve this look or want to see or want to see any tip, tips or tricks for anything um carry on watching and i will see you in my next video and i hope you enjoy this one and i'll see you soon bye so i'm just going in with my benefit professional primer um, you will see me use um, this quite a lot because I have been using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation because it's the one that matches my skin tone um, now, now that I have to tan because obviously I've dyed my hair red um, and it's the one that is the primer that I can really rely on so yeah this is in the shade porcelain so it's um, a warmer undertone than I would normally be um, when I first got it, I thought that, because I was going to get snow, but it just seemed too pale, and this was the next one up. Maybe I should have got almond, I'm not sure, but hey, hey, every cloud. <laughs> now, I'm just going in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer as well, and I think this is in porcelain as well, I'm not sure. But it's either important in all almonds. They're both quite similar shades. They're just there's the different undertones. That's the only difference. Which I wish I knew that. <laughs> now I'm just going in with the um Kat Von D Lock It powder found it um setting powder. I'm just doing that all over my face. And yeah, I'm just uh, really patting it on there. Now I'm just going in with that MUA um bronzer and i'm just really trying to hollow the cheeks out because i can get a bit warmer now that i've got tan on by the way i'm laughing because i'm listening to a podcast by um russell howard and john richardson so if you do see me laughing a bit you'll it'll be because of them now i'm just going in with my precisely my brow by benefit and I'm going in with my trio blush set from Morphe and I'm just using the I think I used the like bright pink one and I just literally can get away with it because I am tanning so it was really nice now I'm going in with colored rain um palette uh, queen of hearts I think it's called now when I knew I was doing fig this really like grabbed my attention because I was going to do the um Chloe Morello collaboration with uh, Ciate, I think it, they pronounce, but because I, I used that for another um, episode, I thought I would use something different, and plus, I don't see anyone really using this palette anymore, because I remember Jacqueline Hill was obsessed with it, that's why I brought it, but I don't really see anyone using it, so I thought I would try and show people how to use it again especially in the autumnal months they're definitely autumnal shades so, so many undertones so many skin tones could use this and it's really really nice and it's really beautiful the inside is so much more beautiful than the outside the outside's so plain but i know it's just packaging but you know sometimes packaging does help a lot
Now, I'm just going in with this purple shade. Um, I'm just going to talk over this bit because, because it's quite a deep shade. What I did is I really flattened that brush and just really concentrated on my crease, but sort of blended it out as well so that the shadow part is mostly on my crease. But then obviously the transitional colours blend in and it just blends in quite well, especially like... If you just keep going over it and blending and blending and blending until you're happy with the pigmentation that you've got. Now, I am back to using my finger for shimmer shades. I can't help myself. I've used so many different ways, Fix Plus, on a brush, everything else. And it just, it's not as easy. I find this such an easy, um, like, step. The only thing I will say is make sure you've got a bit of tissue on the side just so you don't get it all over your face like because you've forgotten it's on your finger and also um try and hand sanitize as well if you are doing it on clients now i'm just putting a it's kind of a shimmery uh lilac -y color and i'm just putting that on my inner corner and blending it to the center of my lid just to give it a bit of definition and plus to make my eyes a little bit wider now I'm just going in with that purple and I'm doing it on my waterline because I thought it was quite red the, the how it turned out even though I look I used quite a lot of purple so I just wanted a bit of actual purple in there so I used this shimmery purple on my waterline and just blended it out and I think it helped it along a little bit at the moment it does kind of look like I've got black eyes but once you've put your mascara on it will all blend this it will all seamlessly blend together plus if you put fake eyelashes on it will help a lot more as well but i didn't do that today now i'm just going in with my maybelline total temptation mascara it's someone that smells like coconuts and it's the dupe for the Too Faced but um Too Faced better than sex mascara now it is really really nice it's just i find both mascaras pick up too much product when you take it out of the um packaging but i would recommend just wiping it with a tissue because even though you're looking at tissue and there's a lot of product it's just so much easier makes your eyelashes so much better now i'm just going in with becca champagne pop i really do love this i just this is still the first one that i ever brought um this is still the one that was with collaboration with jacqueline hill i must admit i will not be purchasing another one because i have this one and also have the one with the jacqueline hill um the face palette but i will not be purchasing it again just because of how everything works out with them i just it just seems a bit unfair um i know it's business and stuff like that but you know she did do such a good job with it and it's just heartbreaking to see all her hard work and she's not getting any of the praise for it anymore now I'm just going in with a primer clip liner and this is in the shade, I, I can't mind what it is now, but see if I use any primer clip liners I will probably not write it down below because they tend to change theirs quite often and you won't see i could go to belfast um i could go to dairy one and it won't have the same as it does with omar so um i don't like to put it down just in case you can't find it or get it anywhere now i'm going in with my Too faced um melted matte is it melted melted matte liquid lipstick in i think it's in the shade it's happening and it's a lovely like pinky mauvey toned ready kind of color perfect for autumn perfect for this look i could have possibly gone a bit darker but i'm not brave enough for that so yeah so yeah this is my finished look um it's not as purple as i would have liked it to come up but i think it's still really nice it's still very autumnal it's still very wearable and it's still very um complementary to each other so you've still got the purple on that lower lash line which i think helps it a lot as well so if you do like this video please comment and like down below and um i will see you in my next video have a lovely day and i will see you soon bye